We observe a increasing divide between the ascendant trust of institutions and the flatlined to declining trust of leaders. How much do you trust a business leader to solve social or societal issues? A whopping 26% believe they would. How much do you believe a business leader will make an ethical and moral decision? 19%. What's telling about this slide is not the blue and the red, in my opinion, but the gray. And only 19% say that they trust a business leader to fix a difficult problem. Government is worse. 13% believe in a government leader telling the truth in a difficult situation. We have a vote of no confidence in leaders. Try this one. Trust me, I'm from the government, I'm here to help. Uh, very few people actually believe that that is what is going to happen when a politician uh, says this. And yet politicians who say it believe it in their souls that they are trying to do uh, their best and they are motivated by the very uh, highest instincts. You've got an enormous chasm of global governance and you've got an enormous gap domestically in governance. So the fact that people would have some uh, problems with the, with the quality of their leadership seems to me to be entirely rational. Today, what makes you trusted is do you treat your employees well? Do you put customers ahead of profit? Are you seen as transparent? And are you seen as delivering in a society context as well as making money? So you got to be able to do both. It starts clearly with tone from the top. There's, there's no substitute for repeated, direct uh, leadership, tone from the top that's, that sets the direction. But that has to be backed up by quantifiable metrics. We believe that the old pyramid of influence, that top down, that was our model, uh, one could argue as early as 10 years ago, is today mirrored by a pyramid of community. And we believe that those two pyramids come together to create today's uh, diamond of influence. The leadership quotient, if you're willing to step out and lead in that format and engage people, ecosystem employees, that the opportunity is probably really significant. We leaders have to be able to use that quite effectively and smartly so that you know, we can utilize not by just directly communicating. Those that see it as an asset, not a liability, actually I think have a better chance of actually dealing with the leadership crisis that's out there today. The monopoly of the microphone is over. Give up control and aim for credibility. They're not going to get trust back in the short run and they're going to have to enlist and listen and adapt their policies and have a uh, different approach. You cannot operate in an environment where you've lost trust. It'll hit you one way or the other, either through government regulation or through consumer uh, desertion or so I think trust is is critical to uh, to business success.